got a Tesla update, ladies and gentlemen. Update 2020.12.6. Now, normally buying certain cars is not an investment unless it's some really, really old school car or some high dollar car like some Maserati or something. One point in time, Elon Musk came out and said the reason why Teslas are the type of vehicle that will appreciate in value is because they send over the air updates like what I'm mentioning that I got last night. And the other part of what makes this car appreciate in value is that they have the self-driving component that is still updating as we speak. And so if you take a look at the graphic on the screen, this is the update I got last night, where when you put the car in autopilot self-driving, it now stops at stop signs on its own. And then when it's time to go, all you gotta do is tap the little stop that you see right there behind the wheel, and it'll take off on its own for you. Back in the day, you would have to stop it at a stop sign and a red light, but as you see here, it stops right on its own, and when it's time for you to go and it sees that the light is green, all you've got to do is just tap that little stalk that looks like your turn signal button and you take off and you go. And eventually the car is supposed to be completely self-driving. So if you've got a fleet of them, you might can use them to move packages, whatever, whatever. So my question to the fellas on the panel is, fellas, why are you guys waiting? Go get a Tesla. Man. <clears throat> what, no. was, that, was that footage you shot? Yeah, with your camera. <laughs> with the that camera Larry impressive. sent me. With the camera Larry sent me. That is impressive. Yeah. I have to uh I have to to look in, you know, like really like look into it. You know, like I told you the other day, man, I just paid the charger off and it's just it's like nice not having no bill. I feel you. <laughs> um, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. My wife just went out and got the uh, brand new Camaro. Like, oh, man. Just went and got it. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, I had, I had enough, I hadn't upgraded mine yet. I'm, you know, I'm still just, and then too, right now, with us being locked in, hell, I, I, I've been on, been on the same tank of gas since, since the shutdown started. Oh, so, man. Wow. So, wow. So, you know, yeah, I'm really not I'm really not going anywhere but to the store every couple of days or something like that. But it is something that I that I look into it. It, it intrigues, you know, the, the technology intrigues me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm saying while you while I'm watching the video, I'm saying in my head, like, damn, what kind of GPS system does this thing have? And, uh, well, you know, how you know how is it correlating itself with stop signs yield signs and all this other kind of stuff that's what's going through my mind when i'm watching this video and so uh I just, I, and i did i did tell you that i was gonna i was definitely gonna look into them you know because you don't really see them you don't really see them around here and you know and, and if i did get one it would you know it would definitely be a it would definitely be a statement but well, uh, De detroit banned the sale of Tesla's in the state of Michigan, I mean, excuse me, not Detroit, Michigan banned the sales of Tesla's in the state. You have to go over to the next state to get it. And of course, you know why that is because of Ford, GM, and their lobby. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, you know what's here. crazy, Lamont? We talked about this a while back about getting one of these, and I floated the idea to my wife, and normally she just shoots it down like, whatever. She was like, okay. It was like what? It was completely open to it. So I'm, I've been thinking about it. I've See, been I'm seriously thinking about it. That's why I rocks with your wife. She <laughs> understands you hang around people of of intellectual influence who critically think. That's why I rocks with your wife. I can yeah, only I'm tell you. It. I'm thinking it could be it could be a very uh, interesting thing to to have and get for us. I don't know. We'll see. You know, the self driving thing. I think I'll tell you one thing that's really to me that I find really interesting about this, and I know this may seem like sort of jokey, jokey, laugh, laugh and all, but when I think about, when I think about the possibilities of, of driver safety, when you have the people that have gotten out there and gotten in trouble and hurt and killed from drunk driving, mm -hmm. this very well could be a way to help prevent that. I mean, if they have sensors in the car where 
you get in the car and the car can detect a certain amount of alcohol. You know, if you're breathing and the, and the sensors can detect that there's alcohol in the air, it mm -hmm. could say, hey, you know, we've detected that there's alcohol that, that you might have possibly have been drinking. Would you like to go into self-drive mode? And mm -hmm. it could be a matter of someone saying, hey, you know, like they might not be thinking like this. Somebody might be, you know, somebody might be up there saying, oh, well, you know, I don't need to, I don't need to have anybody drive me home. I'm good, blah, blah, blah. But once they get in the car and they're all alone, if their car is like, look, yeah, we think you might be drunk. Would you like, to drive? would you like us to drive you home? That could be a game changer for people. That could be a serious game changer. If you get in the car and you just sit back and let the thing take you home. Yeah, you, you, know? you might want to check and 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 see if there's any patent on that idea, man. You might want to you might want to secure that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can tell you right now, Tesla's Tesla was in a fight with four to one of them, and they want they won dealing with this self driving technology because yeah. they're trying to pass this model down to other people, to mm -hmm. other industries to use. So that's right. why they've been pioneering it. And every time they add something new, the autopilot self-driving mode goes up. When I bought mine, it was $3,000. That was the cost to get your car with the self-driving. Self now it's $8,000. Wow. And I got the car in September. So like Elon said, that's an asset that's going to keep going up. So now I'm curious. This, I'm curious. Is this these software updates and... Mm -hmm. Are these things that live with the vehicle or are these things that live with the owner? Um, vehicle. Okay. So when you go get a new Tesla, you got to get this stuff all over again. Okay. That's what I wanted to know because, you know, I, I, I was wondering if, like, what happens if you decide you're going to upgrade from whatever model you have to a newer car and then you decide, well, I don't want to pay the $8,000 for the self-driving. I'm just going to take that software and move it from my old car to my new one. If that, if that's the way it worked or something. Oh, so, okay. Hell no. And you know, you know, um, Larry seen the video. I got two streams where you can literally, um, control the car without being in it from the app. So like if it's raining yeah. and I'm at the grocery store or whatever, and I don't want to go out and get the car, I can hit a button, the car come to me. Yeah, you don't need valet anymore. Nope. You don't need valet. You can park your car. You can park your car around the corner and just come out in front of the club, hit the 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 homing beacon. That thing will just come pick you up. Look, this, this will help you get it with the wife. My wife loves how I'm a gentleman and I always get the car to come pick her up and let her get in first. 